Hi, we're here with Adam Claptouch from SenseFly, and behind us is the Exxon, a uh, new UAV that uh, SenseFly has just released. Adam, tell us a little bit about the technology in the uh, craft that's flying behind us. <laughs> that crazy little thing over there. Um, the Exxon is basically SenseFly's solution to the professional drone market for inspection, close mapping, uh, and 3D modeling. So it's a drone where we thought from the ground up, how can we inspect different infrastructure, bridges, buildings? What kind of information do civil engineers, for example, need when they're inspecting these uh, types, of, uh, types of structures? For example, right now there's, I think, something like six or 800,000 bridges in the United States alone. All these bridges need to be inspected. Usually takes several days, lots of scaffolding that has to be put up bridges that need to be closed, traffic diverted, many people that have to climb up these scaffoldings. So it's a dangerous job, it's a long job, it's an expensive job. What the inspectors really look for is high resolution imagery to really get up close to try to find cracks the size of a millimeter in these kind of structures. We're trying to solve this problem, trying to make this job much easier with a flying platform. That's why we have this drone, this Exxon, has a camera pointed forward very high resolution camera. It takes 38 megapixel raw still imagery and it's designed in a way where the camera can point forward, it can look up, it can look down. So if you're inspecting underneath a bridge or the side of a wall, you can do this with our platform. The other important thing is to be able to get up close and personal with structures. You can't be flying 40 meters away and try to find that one millimeter sized crack. You really have to get up close. We're trying to make the job easier for a civil engineer to do that, to get his camera a meter away from the surface he's inspecting. For this, we have a lot of integrated sensors in the drone. We have GPS, we have several inertial measurement units, we have compasses, we have barometers. On top of all that stuff though, we have five sensor pods throughout the drone that have an integrated distance sensor and a camera. So that's five cameras, beyond the user cameras, five different cameras looking in five directions, five distance sensors pointing in five directions as well. I can say one of the things you guys are known for is uh, your technology to keep the camera level and, and really stable. Is that tougher to do when you have a high density uh, uh, feed like that? Um, stability of the image is of course very important. Um, especially when you have a lot of cameras and you need them to be synchronized with your positioning system with your inertial measurement unit. Um, the way we do this is using kind of a separation within the drone. So we have the main drone, which creates a lot of vibration from the motors. This gets dampened through a set of rubber dampers, and we have our body made of really stiff, yet really lightweight magnesium that's inside the drone that holds all the sensors together. Through this separation, we manage to have a really nice image. All the cameras have a nice image stabilized, while you have this flying thing underneath that's, uh, that's got four motors going in every direction. Interesting, and that's production technology now? Absolutely, so we just announced, we, we announced a few months ago our Exxon, but today, or during this uh, show, we announced the technical specifications. We're taking pre-orders right now. Drone is being shipped this summer. Interesting. That's interesting technology, Adam, thank you. Thank you very much.